Everybody starts on the white tees. If you make a birdie, you move back a set of markers to the blues. Is this the honor system? This is the honor system. Okay. Should I put the other way so you get my good side? No way. Well, we started this because we had uh, a lot of our brothers that passed away at a very young age and uh, nobody seemed to know why. So we had to find out how we could, number one, either find a cure or find out why somebody like myself is still here and folks I work with died at 52 years old. It's known as the asbestos workers disease. This local has been fighting it with this golf outing that raises money for how many years now, Jimmy? 20 years. 20 years. Some people can work with asbestos their whole lives and, and not be affected by it. Other people just takes that, uh, that one fiber, and that's what we're trying to figure out a way to, to reduce that. I am a fourth generation insulator, and half my family has died from mesotheliomia. All the uh, brothers and sisters across the country come here, and they all spearhead to try to cure the same disease because it affects our industry more than anybody. We, we have our outing up in Albany, and we, whatever we do, get money wise, it's a pleasure to come down here and give it to the fellas in Philadelphia. Local four of Buffalo, New York, and like I said, Vizo hits home. My mom, my mom actually died from Vizo. Yep. And she just washed clothes, never smoked no, nothing. So oh, really? business manager from Local 6 in Boston. We come down every year for the last, what, 15 years, I think. And we make a donation down here every, every year with the money we raise up in the New York, New England states. Okay. My dad died of uh, mesothelioma, and uh, that's why I'm here and, and uh, support the cause. Thanks to the doctors and the wonderful care I got up here, I've shown non-detectable for the last 15 years as far as cancer. And that's why I come and try to do everything in my power to promote and carry on the good work that Fox Chase is doing. Dr. Tester, who, when we started, he understood what we were looking for. And our goal was to have somebody research this dreaded disease. And fortunately, Dr. Tester got on board and has been doing it for 20 years for us. He's the one guy who understood what we have, and now it's a national thing, everybody understands, but he was the first one to get on board with us, and that was our goal, to get one guy to research it, and that's what we're trying to do. The disease has been debilitating to too many people, and fortunately, it appears like we're turning the corner, and it's we're not seeing the disease nearly as much, but the research still has to go. Every disease needs people helping and this is one that a lot of people don't know about. We happen to be a choice few people that do know about it and that's why we really need to step up to the plate and help out.